Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. butter cake. It is that time of the year to start uh, utilizing apples and stuff for fall. Um, so I have made an apple sauce cake before but this is an apple butter cake with a brown sugar uh, buttercream icing on it. So right now I have my sugar and my butter in here. I'm going to get it starting to cream two to three minutes and then we'll start adding in our eggs and our um, apple butter and our milk and then the last thing to go in will be the uh, flour mixture. Hey y'all, it is starting to be fall season and we're thinking of fall type desserts. I am going to make an apple butter cake. I've made an applesauce cake and it was delicious so I'm excited to try this apple butter cake with um, a brown sugar butter frosting. It's going to be really good can't wait. Um, so right now I'm going to take my flour and I'm going to put it in this other bowl only because I'm just putting it in a little bit bigger bowl so that I can um, whisk together the salt and the baking powder with it and my cinnamon and nutmeg. You can't have anything apple without cinnamon and nutmeg. There's a law against it. <laughs> So I'm gonna, I'm just stirring these together to incorporate so that you do not have any clumps of baking powder anywhere in here. Okay, so that is set to the side. We're gonna take our brown sugar. This is gonna make it nice and moist, the brown sugar. And our granulated sugar. And our two sticks of butter. And I'm going to beat this until the butter and the sugar are well combined together and it's fluffy. It may take two to three minutes uh, for that to happen, um, but as soon as that's done, then we'll come back and I'll start adding in my eggs and my apple butter and my milk. And then the last thing you get in there is the flour mixture. This is your basic fall cake recipe. You're creaming your room temperature butter with brown sugar until smooth and then you're adding in one egg at a time. Then add in apple butter, your milk, and your flour mixture. And once it is creamed to combine, then you're going to pour it into your baker spray prepared pans. You can use two 9 inch pans, you can use two 8 inch pans, you can use 3 8 inch or 3 9 inch, whatever you want. It's your discretion. Then you're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 30, 35 minutes. We ended up baking ours for 35 minutes until the cake tester came out clean, or you can use a toothpick. And you allow them to cool completely, and then you can ice your cake. Hey y'all, I am making the. Um brown sugar um, buttercream frosting for the apple butter cake. And this takes a lot of butter. This is three sticks of butter, half and a half. So, I, this is room temperature butter. So I'm going to Cream this up here. And 
then I'll start adding in the uh, powdered sugar and the salt and then the heavy cream. And then I have molasses that will go in. So right now I'm going to get started on creaming the butter. With everything in culinary, you have to tweak it to make it taste exactly what you want it to be. So we put three sticks of butter in here, confectioner sugar, and we had molasses in here. The molasses taste was so overwhelming that we decided to use um, a little bit of nutmeg to help cut the sweetness of the molasses and also to give it a more fall flavor in your mouth so it was pretty delicious when we got done with it it did cut back on the sweetness as well as that overwhelming molasses flavor all right I'm gonna um, get the cakes and get the cake stand and then I'll be back to um, get it all laid out and start decorating the cake hey y'all I'm back um, I have my icing ready and I'm going to ice the first layer and then I'll put my second layer on and finish it. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. This show is produced by Two Sisters Productions, McRae, Georgia.